cut a lot of half blind dovetails, you've got to see my Kerf X10. I'm talking about the dovetail that we typically find at the front of a drawer. This is called a half blind. You only see half of the joint through dovetail in the back. This one takes a lot more time. But I got a way of cutting some of that time down. Here's the problem. When you use your dovetail saw to cut the half blind on the pin portion, you can only saw from this line down to that line, which means you end up with a saw cut like this, and now you've got to come in and remove all of this material. Well, the traditional way was just to go at it with a chisel and a little bit at a time. It takes a while. I'll show you what the Kerf X10 does. My dovetail saw has a plate, saw plate, that's 20 thousandths of an inch thick. There's two thousandths of an inch set on either side of the tooth, the teeth. That means you're going to end up with a Kerf that is 24 thousandths of an inch in width. The blade on my Kerf X10 is 25 thousandths of an inch, and it's blunted off on the top. This is not pointed at all. So here's how you do it. Come into your kerf. Remember, that kerf, is, that kerf is angled from here down to there, down to the bottom. So I'm going to come in here, and I simply put it in the kerf, and then tap it with my small mallet down to the line. Take it out, and go right to the back line. Now, I was first shown this by Tay Frid. I couldn't believe how it worked. If we were cut that out, that kerf now goes right to the bottom corner, and it's just amazing what happens. The wood literally is driven down. Now, when I do the outside ones, I exercise a little bit of caution here just because there's nothing to support this side of the joint. So I often will put a clamp right there just to kind of prevent that from possibly splitting. Can't squeeze it too hard or else you'll close your kerf and won't be able to get the Kerf X10 in there. But what I do here is I take more time, a few more steps, maybe even as many as four on this one going in a little bit farther each time and making sure that on this side I'm right down to my line. Now we'll go right to the back. Now the only task left is to remove the waste, but as I chop away this waste, I don't have to go in and pair the side of the, either of the pins because it's already been cleaned off with the Kerf X10. It's actually amazing. Works in hardwood, works in softwood. Like I said, the only precaution is on that outside half pin, offer a little bit of support to the wood just in case, prevent that from splitting off. That's the Kerf X10.